Hi, my name is Ruslan, I'm a student management systems in Berlin and today I want to give you some personal advices how you can prepare yourself in the best possible way for your studies in management information systems. And like always, if you want to see more content related to management information systems, then I would definitely recommend to you to describe right now. First advice, take a close look on its curriculum. I know that this advice sounds a little bit obvious and the reason why I'm telling you it is because I got like a lot, a lot of questions about hey what kind of topics what kind of models do I have to expect in management information systems and to be honest as a youtuber those types of questions are great for me because the more you comment the more you interact with my videos the better those videos are getting promoted by YouTube but the thing is like I oftentimes have the feeling that the people are not preparing the same sort of studies and sometimes they also don't know what management information systems actually is and I ask myself hey why do you even study management vision systems if you don't know what kind of topics do you have to expect and if you don't know if those topics are not related to your interest. The other reason why you should search for the curriculum of your university is not because you will understand what kind of topics you have to expect but the most important thing is that you can take a look on those topics where you already know that you're gonna have like a really hard time and from my own experience those topics are always related to mathematics and programming and that is the reason why I should take a close look on this second advice. Second advice, prepare yourself for the courses which are related to programming and mathematics. I am already studying since one and a half years management automation systems and I can tell you from my own experience that in the most common cases why people fail are always related to the courses in programming and to the courses which are related to mathematics. And I have also unfortunately had to make this bad feeling to not passing the course in mathematics and the reason for it was simple because I haven't prepared myself for mathematics and in my own own opinion you can pass most of the courses just by simply preparing yourself to those courses and to fail in my personal opinion and unnecessary feeling you don't have to make during your studies for example you can take up a close look on its curriculum like I told before and there you will see hey first semester I have to do Java so how you can prepare yourself for Java for example you can just simply use YouTube like you already also have found this video you can type in Java for beginners course and then you will have thousands of thousands of different videos where you will learn the basics and believe it or not if you already understand the basics of a programming language you will definitely have a great time during your programming courses because you will not spend a lot of time to understand those basics you can focus the time you have gained from your preparation you can invest it even in a different way to become even better and you will have a much bigger advantage in comparison to the fellow students and also I have made like a YouTube video you can find here where I will show you all the topics you will probably also have faced during your courses in mathematics for example so check this video out but of course after this video Fourth advice, use pre-courses if you have the chance to do so. Like I said before, for example, you already know you have difficulties with programming or you already have difficulties with mathematics. If you have the luck, your university is already offering pre-courses to manage your difficulties. The problem is that if you teach yourself certain topics, you will not always know what type of information is important for me and what type of information isn't important for me. Because if you learn something you can dive deep into certain informations into the smallest amount of information you can find if you know what I understand but this is not in the most cases important for you if the questions in your examines are completely different and that is the reason why I should definitely take a look on the pre-courses and the advantage of those pre-courses is that the level of difficulty and the amount of information are already given in those pre-courses and if you go there and if you spend some time to do the homework so which it means for you that if you go to these pre-courses you already know what you can expect in your real model where you also have to go there but the problem is that those types of pre-courses unfortunately are not always well promoted by the university itself which means for you that you also have to go to the study administration
position which means for you you also have to go probably to the study administration and to ask directly if they are offering the pre-courses you are looking for fourth advice don't buy unnecessary books I also know the feeling when I was accepted by the university to study management information systems I was overexcited I was over happily and then I asked myself hey I have to buy books because I am already have to study and I need some books and the problem with academic books is that those books are really expensive you can have to pay at least 50 dollars 50 euros and it easily can go up to 200 300 400 dollars which is really expensive and the problem is not based on the money itself but the problem is based on the information you get out of those books so if you don't know what type of books you need for your models don't buy them before the other thing is you are studying which means that your university have definitely a library and if you go to a smaller university they also have a library but surely there is some major university around where you can also go there and rent the same type of books you don't have to pay money for it other reason luckily we also live in a world where everything is more digitalized which means for you you can find the same type of books in a so-called e-library for example on my university we have a huge amount of ebooks we have a huge amount of scientific papers we have a huge amount of newspapers and to be honest during the time of studying one and a half years management information systems I only have bought one book and this one book was a law book I had to buy for the model in law and economics and this book was important for the studies in law and in economics and to be honest during those one and a half years where I'm already studying management information systems this was really the only book I had to buy so don't spend unnecessary money for any types of books you don't need last advice management information systems is a marathon and not a sprint the thing is there are always two types of people probably you can find during the studies there is a one group this type of group is like I am if I start something new I'm overexcited I'm over happily to do so but the problem with type of, of this behavior is that people can easily burn out and they can easily use their motivation to study further the other type of people are probably more relaxed but they have like more the problem that they become the attitude to tell themselves hey I can do this tomorrow and the thing is they will never Never do it even tomorrow and from my own experience is that you have to do daily a certain small amount of time you don't have to do everything on one day if you want to succeed in management information systems motivation is not only one key how you can pass it but the one of the most important keys you have to teach yourself is definitely discipline and believe it or not the first one year during your studies is one of the biggest difficulties you have to face is how you can actually teach yourself this discipline and the more you work on your studies the easier it will become and the easier the studies also will get and the easier it will also for you to have great mark of course so don't be this type of person who is telling himself hey I can do this tomorrow and don't be this overexcited type like I am who loses really fast motivation to do something the only thing you have to focus during your studies especially during your first year like I said before is to teach yourself this discipline and the best way to do so is to do every day a small amount of tasks you have already to do if you have watched this video to this point right now i can definitely say that you have enjoyed this video if you want to support this channel definitely subscribe to it leave a comment leave a like so we can push the algorithm together and like always thank you very much for watching this video we're gonna see us in the next one peace